this is my presentation. The name of the presentation is Answer Bottoms. Uh, my name is Daira Elit, Daira Elit Gonzalez Piñon. I'm from Mexico. And who am I? I'm a Mexican girl of 12 years old. I started in the world of the technology when I was six years old in first legal league. And since that, and since that, I didn't stop to learn about technology. Also, I'm a scout and I teach my friends how to use Lego Widow and Scratch. To whom? Um, this project, I did it for my school, for my school, but it can be in other schools, not only in my school. The project answer bottom consists in this. The objective, the project promotes the participation in fair conditions. The function of the project. The function of the project is, for example, a teacher asks a question to four students. Any question about the class can be. This, the students more first click their button to answer the question. The first students that click the button have the, have, have, that clicks the bottom has the chance to answer. The project turns on a lid. The teacher can see who clicked the bottom first. And, and the teacher can reset the bottoms, click his own bottom, and all the leads are turned off. So any other student can click his or her bottom to answer in another round. The program I use for this project, I use Thinkercad. That is a platform where you can simulate your circuits with Arduino, with Arduino and its code. And then I boil the real circuits. The code, here is the code I use. And this is only the main part of all the code. So you can imagine that it's so large. A video for, of how the project uh, works. A question, who wants to answer? Me! Okay, the, the yellow one. Yes. Uh, yes, that's the answer. Another. Uh, another question. Uh, who wants to answer? Me. Okay, the blue one. Uh, what's, what's the answer? Oh, yes, it's correct. So that's a video of how the project, uh, how use the answer button. Um, the conclusions. Initially, I thought that the project was very easy, but it wasn't. The second conclusion. The obstacles I found were a lot, but I not throw away my shot like the song of the of Hamilton. The third conclusion: my father Salvador and my aunt Julia helped me in the stressful moments. And the and the final conclusion: when the project worked, I was the happiest girl in the world. Thank you. Bye. Uh, questions or comments that you want to tell me? Wow, that is very impressive. Um, this is a little embarrassing, but um, I teach the same thing you do. <laughs> 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 I teach Scratch and I teach, uh, you know, with the Arduino and I've got Legos and I, I'm doing exactly the same thing. So would you like to come to my school and uh, you can be my assistant? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's real. Yes, I'm I'm serious. Well, wait a minute. The only problem is, I I'm afraid that you might do a better job than me, and the, and the principal of the school will fire me and hire you. So maybe you should just stay there. Just stay there for a while, so, so I can keep my job. Oh, I have to say that video demonstrating your proof of concept is one of the most sophisticated proof of concepts. 
I have seen in 20 years of invention. That was wonderful, entertaining, easy to follow. I understood exactly what your code was doing and you were doing it in a second language. That's amazing. You have great talent, amazing talent. Actually, Jim, it's a third language. Spanish is her first, English is a second, and this is computers, it's a third. Yeah, it's impressive. I loved your use of action characters. And uh, that was just so much fun. It's really remarkable. I mean, how much we pay people like CEOs of tech companies to impress people about how their technology and code is going to make people's lives more fun and inventive. And you did it in like four minutes with a YouTube video and some Lego dolls. Do not underestimate your talent. That was remarkable. I'm and so to Salvador. For supporting me. Thank you very much. I'm so shocked. I appreciate uh, a lot this opportunity to be here. And the comments are so. But don't go away. You're not leaving yet. Okay. You mentioned there were some stressful moments. Can you tell yeah, us gonna ask what too. were you yes. showing the stressful moments? The uh, stressful moments, uh, for example, when I was coding and something in the code didn't work, um, uh, I tried it and tried it and tried it and it didn't work. I called my dad and he helped me. Uh, it's um, only like a little bit of help, but that little, that help uh, give me a lot of peace in my mind. Sorry if my English is not the best, oh. but I am trying. Your, your English is excellent. Your English is excellent. So let me ask you, since you're now an assistant teacher, I have an education question for you. I have students who are trying to do some of the things that you are doing. Um, they're much older than you, but that's a different story. Um, when they run into difficulty, they want me to, to fix it for them. Okay. And I, I try not to. So how do I tell them that they have to keep working, even though it's painful, it's stressful? It's a very good question. Um, that's a very good question, but something that helped me uh, to me to understand that I I'm the the author of this project and not my dad uh, is uh, that my dad was working and I can't I can't uh, interrupt his work. Uh, so I was I I, mean, I was searching other solutions in the Arduino page mm -hmm. and that helped me um, that helped me a little bit but how I say um, that that little bit helped me to have peace in my mind and another stressful moment was when I was doing the 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 real the real Arduino with the real Arduino and the proto boards. Mm -hmm. The cable, the cables, cables didn't work, and it was because they were off. And I was needing, I was, I was stressed because it, it was all in the correct positions, and in the video and in the presentation you can see, but there are a lot of cables. And that's we saw uh, them. That, and that's make me like explode. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. my aunt, how I mentioned, uh, helped me with that. Yes, helped me doing the um, um help me uh, with give me another cables to rem remake it. Mm -hmm. But with the base of the Tinkercad, Tinkercad uh, give me a lot of um, secure or security. security to 
be doing it. So, Daria, I borrowed some cable from a friend of mine to wire up some turbine, wind turbines. Yes. And I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> I wired it eight times and it just is not passing current. And finally, I realized, well, this cable is old. It's crappy cable. It was braided wire. So I just went to the store and bought new wire and five seconds later, pure voltage. It was so, <laughs> it's frustrating. And I, I applaud you for figuring that out on your own. Good job. But Dar Daria, the reason I asked you about the stressful times is because if you try and work on a project and it works the first time perfectly, then you have wasted your time. The <laughs> only project, the only thing that is worth doing is something that is hard and it does not work the first time or the second or the third. And once you realize that, okay, then 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 you will be a success. So having a problem is not bad. Having a problem means that you're doing something worthwhile. Now, let me just say one more thing. I noticed you had some little boxes where you had the buttons. Wouldn't yes. it be better? Wouldn't it be better if you had everything in little boxes where all the wires were together? You're you're using Tinkercad. Have you yes. ever used Tinkercad to do 3D design? Ooh. Uh, yes. Yes, I do the, first I do the, the like, I sketch in mm -hmm. Tinkercad that, yes. it were, that it, they were the protoboards and the Arduino and all the cables and the code and that. And then when I do it in real life, we use, um, we go, we, my dad uh, go to his uh, school where he works and he found five or four phone. Phone, uh, boxes and they were like uh, like uh, I don't trash. like trash they are they were going to to throw them away to okay. throw away and that's why and again um, okay. I don't throw away my shot. Okay, that is very good and there's nothing wrong with using trash. But your design, your project should be above trash. So here's what you do. You go to Tinkercad and you can design in, in mm -hmm. the CAD, the computer-aided design, mm -hmm. the 3D models, mm -hmm. the pieces. And there's something called an STL file. Mm -hmm. The letter S, the letter T, mm -hmm. the letter L. You, you save it, you export your model as an STL file mm -hmm. and you can email it to me or me. I, will, I will print it on my 3D printer and mail it back to you. Wow. No, really? Yes. Okay. We do this every day. It, it went, it, it's easy. Yes. And the only thing is you have to tell me what color you want, because I have all <laughs> different colors. <laughs> no. Yes. So I will be glad to do that. You send me the STL file, and uh, I will print it out and mail it back to you. Wow. No, this is amazing because how I mentioned this project was for my school and the project for my school uh, transformed to this. And I think today is one of the best days of my life. <laughs> no, no, you're wrong. It's one of the best days of my life because we get oh. the video. <laughs> Daria, you are adorable when you're excited. I love that this, you are going to be doing this for yourself very, very soon. I'm certain of it. You are too curious to not get into 3D printing. Thank you very much. Uh, this is so amazing. Uh, I love that you give me this opportunity uh, first to be here because I know that the times were not uh, very good. But you give me this time that is a perfect the the time when I was free, and Great. it was like like. It's like, okay. It's okay. Yes. But Katori, I think Katori, um, we have to go now because we've got another presenter. Okay. Yes. But, yes. But you have some. You have some work, and you. 
you communicate with us and you send us the stuff and we will we will be very happy to help you. Thank yeah. you, Daria. Thank you, Salvador. Thank you. Bye. Nice to Thank see you, you again. Thank you to you. Bye, Jake. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.